West Lansing, Michigan, Cincinnati, Ohio, Houston, Texas. Somehow, in all my years as a reporter, I've never actually ridden on a school bus. I never even stopped to wonder how many school buses there are, or how much they cost, how many miles they get to the gallon, or why they're all yellow. All those important questions that a reporter should ask. The very first school buses looked a lot like wagons. In fact, their primary purpose was to bring kids from the farm to school. This school bus, made in the 1920s, looked something like a Model T Ford, only bigger. School buses weren't always yellow, but now they are. It's a federal law. Yellow was agreed upon because it's easy to see under any conditions. Recently, some school districts in the hotter states have taken to painting the tops of their school buses white. Apparently, the lighter color actually lowers the summertime temperature inside the bus by as much as 10 degrees. A conventional school bus lasts about 15 or 20 years before it has to be replaced. Then it's sold to be used for Boy Scout troops, church events, whatever. Only six companies in the United States make school buses for 16,000 school districts. That's a lot of buses, 390,000 of them. Because most are made here in the USA, buses really are as American as apple pie, a familiar symbol of school, but not always a positive one. In the late 60s and 70s, school buses were associated with court-ordered busing for school desegregation. Protests sprang up, like this one in Boston in 1973, and the yellow school bus was transformed into a negative symbol for angry whites. But in the South, for black parents, the yellow school bus must also have been a negative symbol, but for a lot longer. It represented white-only schools their children were not allowed to attend. They watched white children ride the bus to newer and better schools, while their children had to walk to legally segregated and inferior schools. Symbolism aside, the bus itself remains a constant. Its looks change very slowly. School bus makers, like car salesmen, try to win over customers with gimmicks and slogans. They court school board members in particular. One company gives away miniature flashlights. The school bus service that we provide all across America, North, North America. In hopes of persuading school boards to buy a bus for $70,000. And the purchase price is just the beginning. A typical school bus gets only seven miles to the gallon and during a school year uses more than 2,000 gallons of fuel. Now I understand why I've never ridden a bus in all my years as a reporter. It's 5.30 in the morning for crying out loud. These school bus drivers in Houston get up before the crack of dawn every school day. It's still dark when most of them leave for their first round of students. They drop off those kids, then make another circuit to serve another school. In the afternoon, they repeat the process. Tell me about this job. I mean, you must have to get up at some awful hour in the morning. Yeah, <laughs> I had to get up about 4.45, be here at 5.45. Do you have a husband, children? Yeah, I have a husband and three children. That's pretty typical. According to the California Department of Transportation, it's mostly housewives, college students, and retirees who drive the buses. This school bus travels 135 miles every day. Typical school bus in Houston averages 80 miles a day. Houston has 1,080 buses. That's 86,400 miles every day on school buses. School year is 180 days. That's, that's 15,500,000 miles on school buses just in Houston. Nationwide, every year, the total transportation expense for school buses is over $7.6 billion. To keep it from being even higher, most school districts stagger school starting times, high school at 7.45, elementary school at 9, for example, so that one bus can serve two schools and cut down on transportation expenses. Riding the bus jogs my memory. Uh, it takes me back to sixth grade, the only year I actually got to ride a school bus. What I remember most about that year there's a guy named Vinny, another sixth grader. Actually, he was in his second year in sixth grade, maybe even his third year. But just before Christmas, he was telling all the first and second graders that there wasn't any Santa Claus. And I told him to cut it out. That wasn't fair. And he said, yeah, make me. Well, I tried. I failed. He beat me up and probably convinced all the first and second graders that there really wasn't a Santa Claus. I don't know whatever happened to Vinny, but if there's any justice, uh, he's playing Santa Claus at Macy's. 
If we weren't on the bus, we were waiting and hoping it would not show up so we wouldn't have to go to school. But the drivers never forgot. Roy Randall supervises bus drivers in Houston. How do we know these drivers uh, know how to drive, that they're any good? First of all, uh, they go through extensive training, uh, beginning with the CDL license, which CDL? is new. CDL, commercial driver's license. Well, you can't just and, have a regular license? Uh, not anymore. How much does a bus driver make? The beginning uh, hourly wage for a bus driver is eight fifty three. We have 230 different personalities, uh, but they're all good people, and they all know their job. You were fiddling what looked like with seat belts. Do you have seat belts? Uh-huh. I had 24 kids on my bus, and I have to have seat belts. What age kids? Um, ranging from s between 6 and probably 12. You make them put the belts on? Yes, they have to have the belts on because they do a lot of moving around and wiggling and stuff like that. Students in Houston are required to wear seat belts if the bus has them. New buses come with seat belts, but most older ones don't. To retrofit an older school bus with belts is expensive, $4,000 per bus. And so many school districts have opted instead to have padded seat backs, which can also absorb the impact of a collision. Belts or not, school bus travel is the safest form of ground transportation in America. Safety is a big concern when you're talking about transporting 22 million school children. That's how many kids ride the school bus every day. Counting me, that's 22 million and one. 